Hi, my name is Dr. Amir. My topic today is about a condition called hypoglycemia, which means abnormal low blood sugar below the normal level, which is 70 mg or 3.9 millimole. It is most common in patients with type 1 diabetes who need to take only insulin for treatment. And it is less common in type 2 diabetes, especially if the patients are taking insulin or certain diabetes pills. The cause of hypoglycemia is either by taking too much insulin or some diabetes pills or by delaying meals or not eating enough food. It can also happen in diabetics after heavy exercise or alcohol drinking. What are the symptoms? For mild cases, they might feel hungry, shaky, anxious, and sweating. But for severe cases, especially if the sugar level drops below 50 mg or 3 millimole, they will feel very weak and tired with blurry vision, confusion, and eventually they might faint or have a seizure. The treatment for the mild cases is by drinking orange juice or eating something sweet like candy or glucose pills. But for severe cases, especially if they cannot eat or drink, we should give them urgently a glucagon, either by an injection or by nasal powder. Glucagon is a hormone from the pancreas that can raise blood glucose quickly. Glucagon should be kept with the patient's family in case of an emergency. Another option is by giving fluids with sugar in the vein. Another related condition is called reactive hypoglycemia or sugar crash. It is a recurrent episode of low blood sugar in people without diabetes, especially after eating a meal which is high in sugar or carbs. The mechanism here is that after eating a sweet meal, the pancreas responds by producing more insulin than it is needed. Initially, there is a rapid increase in the blood sugar, then a few hours later, there will be a rapid decrease in the blood sugar due to the presence of too much insulin. The treatment for reactive hypoglycemia is to prevent it by eating four or five meals a day, which are high in protein and low in sugar and carbohydrates. Hypoglycemia is unpleasant experience and can be frightening to the patients. It is really very important to prevent hypoglycemia in diabetics by monitoring blood sugar frequently and by educating the families about its symptoms and how to manage it. Diabetics who are at risk should always carry with them some glucose pills to use it as needed. Finally, if you experience this episode, please inform your doctor about it in order to adjust your medications. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I want to wish you a happy, healthy life.